What is happening to the picture? What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... Oh! No, what no, fuck? no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest. Go to sleep, the baby. Oh, what the fuck? do that wait is that joy so Griff long time no see how's tricks right thought as much yeah. black willed dames always sleeping you're always sleeping and I'm always watching are you on to sector guy yep that's me the eternal chump mmm it's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. <laughs> Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... <laughs> the same smile. Accepting response and accepting her confrontation response. You really exist. Oh yes. Live and in person. Although I'm not really alive. And I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. <laughs> yes, what? the same. The same is the Blackwell legacy, darling. Da -da. Passed down from one generation to the next. Like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me. Then your aunt. And now you. Say the obvious question is origins. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me. Why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. <laughs> Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. <laughs> sure, oh, I'll be it Took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never yeah. really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You Shh. felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been my head. feeling sick all day. And where did it start? The Washington Square Park. You mean the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've got to go. What? Right now? Yep. The sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. 
This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Nope. <laughs> Let's accept this guy. He's been fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. No, you're the spirit. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep. yep. And hear me. <laughs> so keep your voice low. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait. Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules, whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. It's a girl? Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Well, am I Joey now? Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Be glee, but what if I be charming? Hey, don't be. If there's one thing I hate. Hey, I'm talking to you. They all run. So hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. The dogs. The dogs. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick. He poisoned us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. Not a chance. You're, you're him. He's the only one who won't go. Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. I can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Indeed. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. Yep. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. For the love of Pete. Who? Oh, that's the love for the love of beer. They actually bless me. Uh, what an odd dream. <laughs> Good morning, bright eyes. <laughs> You're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Nope. Has anybody told you that you snore? Throw it in his face. If it bothers you so much, you can always leave. <laughs> I wish I could, dear. I told you, I couldn't leave even if I wanted to. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? 
Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And Auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? She's the only family I had. I want to know about her. We all want lots of things. Doesn't mean we'd get them. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. Ready to see how close can I get to this mic and speak? Positive incredulous that are bitter. Yeah, let's accept this guy. I want to be cool like Ant was. Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. Hey. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here. Take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch. The tie? Hey. Kinda tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never <laughs> quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Darling? Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. They can't. Gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. You have to leave? How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Oh. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. There's a hole in my head. Sort of. I'm not sure I... Well, like it or not, we're here. Indeed. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? Ghost whisper. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. What about that ghost in the park? The one- Why didn't we bring her- First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. Mm. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Mm. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. Aww. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. Poor guy. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. Okay. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. Yes, it did. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look all right. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because... I don't belong. Yep. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. 
Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. Indeed. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Oh. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. The blonde girl. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue we have. How do we convince ghosts? That's the tricky. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds <laughs> snapped. Little we need to do whatever mind. we can to bring them back to themselves. Yeah. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic t I give one end to the spook, the other end to you pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's go. Joey! I want to talk to you, Joey. Yes? Ask about ghosts, ask about history, ask about Joey. Ask about you, I want to know you more. Um... About ghostly powers. So what can you actually do? Do? Music as a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything. Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. You. Oh. Neat trick, huh? Not really. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. You can blow on wind um, <laughs> curtains. Wow. Uh, about that, how did you die, Joy Boy? How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Sorry. Uh, I think that the, the um, all the voice acting is amazing, but the voice, the, the guy who voiced Joy was so close to, the, to his mic that time. Uh, stop moving. Can't you stay still? Huh? The way you float all over the room like that, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> you sound like my mother. You're just gonna have to get used to it, babe. Can I ask you to leave? I don't want you Did to you ever leave. Leave? What do you mean, leave? Leave. Get out of my apartment. Go privacy. somewhere else. What, don't you like me? Well, it's not that. It's just, well, what about privacy? Yep. I'll turn my back when you're in the shower, don't worry. And what about personal space? I'm a ghost. It's not like I take up any space. That's true. You know what I mean. Sorry, darling, no can do. I told you I can't travel far from my... hosts. I can go maybe 30 feet before something stops me. That must be annoying. Oh yeah, yeah he so calls us now. a lot of like... 25 years watching your aunt drool, this is like staying at the Ritz. <laughs> uh, like, he's from the, I think, 20s to 30s? So he's all like, doll, babe, darling, honey. And I'm like, uh, nope. But, uh, well, R Rosangela is like, uh, nope. <laughs> Imagine her taking a shit with him right next to her. Well, uh, I think he can't smell, so there's that. So, as he stated, he can turn his back. I would make the most weird shit. Just to annoy him. So, what can you do again? You want a repeat performance? Alright. No, I don't. Oh, Evil doers blow. beware. I'm Joey Malone, and I command the power of light breezes. <laughs> well... Uh, about history. Release the Kraken. <laughs> Uh, grandmother. What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk about her? Yeah. What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. 
He's an airbender heck. Yeah. <laughs> He's the, the well, he was the last airbender. He's not anymore. What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? I just do. Can't you tell me anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. Oh, come on. Because basically our parents, uh, our father was this Auntie Lauren's um, brother and they both died and uh, she was taken, uh, Rosangela here was taken by her aunt but when she was like five or six uh, her auntie went crazy like catatonic or something like that in like a lot of heavy pain which was more or less the same thing that had um, uh, the grandmother and uh, he and it was basically because something happened to her while she was helping him with her investigation and so she never actually got to knew her and she was all the family she had and something like that all right uh, I think I've heard enough yeah let's get going oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Joey come here a sec yes yeah. Discovery what else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear. It's the biggest clue we have. Oh yeah, we have t we have this picture. Okay, uh, thanks. I think I've heard enough. I, uh, I've... Yeah, let's get. All right. Here we have this Joanne's photograph. Basically, this one is the this one is Joanne, which is the girl who apparently killed herself but probably probably she didn't and I don't want to ruin the picture I assume that this is a friend of Joanne Joey says that this girl okay. looks exactly like the girl in the park okay so we have to find out who she is so she can help her uh, we can help her let's go you coming yeah sure it's not like he can decide not to. Like, he doesn't know why he's the spirit of the family. Because she has, like, uh, her mother was Italian and he's Italian, but her mother was Italian and her aunt and her grandmother are, like, from his father's, her father's family. All right, let's hear. Let's go here. I guess we can ask... Let's ask um, funny girl here. Confusing, yeah, a little bit. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, open. After you. Oh, yeah. first time here. Business. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Give thanks for the generosity. Inquire about the Romana. Please question her. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. Okay. What? You're a detective now? Well, forget it. All right. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be She's a bad if you girl. bugging me. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on her desk. Oh, okay. Um, girls in the photo. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. Ooh, you know okay. them. Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is Allie. Okay, we have a name. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. You Joanne do. needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into social central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. I'm edgy. Okay, I think. This Thanks for helping out. Because yeah, she sure. doesn't know Whatever. them. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Whatever. Joey? Where the fuck are you going? Uh, Alright, I don't... Okay, let's go out. Thank God that's over. Fun at parties. Over. 
What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? Yeah, we did. What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. No, we don't. We need to go to ask... I have some suspicion about him, so maybe later. I have some suspicion about the guy. Yeah, open. Yeah, open. After you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's a bitch. Uh, no, there's a notebook on Joanne's. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through her stuff. I mean, can I use your phone? What? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine, just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. She hates me enough all- Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. She's covered her wall with rock posters. Oh, no shit. I'm not taking Kelly's things. Okay, jeez. It's a weird doll. Joey keeps joying. Apparently, that's Joey. <laughs> that's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. Oh, come on, why? No. Oh. The future Mrs. Davenport? The future mayor of New York City? The future Miss America? That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. Death, I think. I recognize her. That's Joanne. She doesn't give me the creeps, she's just an arse. Yeah. Even though, like, this is very stereotypical, like, the emo, edgy girl with all the piercing is also a bitch. The future Mrs. Davenport? We are good people. I wonder what that means. Who the heck is Mr. Davenport? The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that- We have to find who- Who is Davenport? I guess? We found out something more. Did you see the metal in that girl's yap? How does she brush her teeth? Same, Same way as everybody else, I guess. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. You're so 60s. Or 30s. Okay, what's... Uh, let's look at... Uh, Adrian. Uh, Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne. Who's this Davenport? The name Mrs. Davenport was written under a picture mm. of Susan. Maybe Allie knows who Davenport is. Yeah, who is Davenport? Who that said? Yo! Kelly? Um... What's her name? His name? Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more <laughs> questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Why is everybody such a bitch? Uh, Allie? Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... never mind. It's not important. Oh. Alright. Susan? Did you ever meet Joanne's friend, Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Thanks, anyway. Davenport? No. Nobody named Davenport on this floor. Thanks, anyway. Uh, I found a glitch? Okay, uh... Yeah, he, he leaves Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, sure. Basically, uh, he's on an old female floor because they thought Adrian was a female name, and he's also like the the, the guy who the person responsible for the floor, which is fine. Um, no. Why not? Uh, you're no fun. Okay, let's go to the park. Uh, no. Don't know. No. Joey, 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 baby, baby. Hi, hey, hey, Joe. Babe. Shall we go someplace where you don't look like a crazy homeless person? That's true. Joe. I want you to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go to the park. I mean, it's broad daylight. So... Oh, she's still here, regardless. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Of course you do. 
Hey, Ellie. Hey there. Remember me? No. no. Maybe. Oh, uh, Glee. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Okay. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore. But he did something to me. What? He'll go away. Oh yeah, the dogs. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always there. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. The dogs. Uh, Davenport. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No. Maybe. Joanne. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. Let's ask about Adrian. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Hmm. Okay. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. <laughs> made of ice jelly. Away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Okay, so this deacon drove everyone away from Ali, except from Kelly, because she was like super fun and everybody loved her. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Mm. Now everyone goes away. Okay, is this a is this deacon a ghost? Okay, I think I asked oh, about you. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Okay. <laughs> Allie Montego, a story and song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. She liked well, girls. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Okay. Can you tell me anything about yourself, Allie? Allie yeah. Montego, a story and song. She kisses the boys, okay. but not for long. Okay. I think I asked about everything. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Yo Shh. Okay, we Unless Okay, let's go home. Jeez. Oh wait, let's go let's go see if uh our neighbor is here. Oh we can't go okay. to Rosa's apartment. Hey, Joey. What do you want, sweetheart? Uh, open notebook. Shh. Let's talk about Ellie. Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow considering what's been going on. Hmm. Allie? So the ghost's name is Allie. Looks like it. Yeah. And she's trapped in the dog run at Washington Square Park. That's where she is. And we have to save her. Yep. Is this going to be a typical day from now on? You'll look back on this as one of the normal ones. <laughs> I don't suppose you know anything about Susan? Nope, no more than you. I wonder if the name Davenport has any significance. It could. You never know. What do you think of Kelly? That kid? I suppose once you get past all that metal 
and the clothes and the hair and the nasty makeup. Come Not on. Not to mention the skin and the nasty attitude. Maybe. Nah, forget it. <laughs> He's from the 30s. He can't help it, I suppose. He doesn't know anybody. Yeah, I think that's what he used to call people, I guess. What do you think of Adrian? Adrian? Uh, his parents must have really hated him to saddle him with that name. Joey. Still, to be sharing a floor with a bevy of young college ladies. Huh. Maybe he doesn't have it so bad. Why would Joanne commit suicide? Who knows? Maybe she was in a hurry. Of what? That's not funny. You want a different answer, ask a different ghost. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd know anything about Joanne, would you? Nope, no more than you. Judging by the picture, she knows that sob story in the park. But that's all. Sob story, okay. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get... Okay, let's go visit. Oh, let's see if... Are you coming? Yeah, sure. We are having this thing every time we open our door. Nish? Come in! Nish! What does... See if the dog changes. Oh, look, Moti, our neighbors come to visit us again. Come in. Are you all right, Rosa? You look a little preoccupied. The dog moved to I'm joy. Fine. That's odd. <laughs> Moti never acts like that. Moti's a oh, sweetheart. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. And this is an animal Are you of getting a, a good look, Mutt? Boo! Hey, don't scare the dog. He's a bitch. I What's don't like you, Joey Maloti. I'm sorry. He must be sick or something. Sick it's of all ghost. right. I feel the same way too. Oh, let's take a, give a treat to Maloti. That's Nishanti's dog. But the dog. Hey, boy. Oh. There's nothing to be afraid of. I hope. There's nothing to be afraid of, I, I hope. Do. Say goodbye. See ya. You know I spoil you. Uh... Go get it. Good boy. He's the best boy. Hey, Nish. You said yesterday that you sense things. Yep. Yes. Could you tell me more about that? Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'll observant. Play, I'll the doctor Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? What do you mean? You look ill at ease, uncomfortable. The way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep, everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. Yeah, I know. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Yes, now pet the doggo. Pet the doggo. Well, I take care. Come back when... Hey, hey, look what I got. Hmm, these... Here, boy. Here, boy. Pet, 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 pet. Go get it. Oh, we didn't pet the dog. We only gave him the treat. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. Okay. See ya. And the, I love that the dog just like, okay. Someone wants a treat. And this guy, Go this, this dog is going to be fat at the end of this game. All right, let's get going. Thanks for the visit and for letting me pet your dog. So, dogs can see you, huh? Dogs, cats, birds, any dumb animal. Hey. So what does that make me? I don't know. A gerbil? You kind of look like a gerbil. Shut up. <laughs> I like. I love the dynamic between these two. Okay, we have more things to ask. Let's go to Kelly. There's nobody home. Yeah. This is not what I wanted. 
It's open. After you. Yeah. I'm not taking Kelly. I want to talk to Kelly. Could I ask you some? <sighs> Make it quick. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. It's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? Aww. I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. That bitch is lucky he can't be slept. Yep. Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? No, nope. I'm agnostic. Do you know anything? You may miss Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. Mm. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Oh, because that was annoying. So it was usually my cue to get out of here. <laughs> what do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying, partying. Pushing up daisies. <laughs> Huh? Nothing. Right. Okay. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Mm. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Mm, you didn't. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kevin. Whatever. Whatever. And yes, he's lucky he can't be slept. Oh yeah, way to turn over every stone looking for clues. What do you want from me? I'm doing the best I can. Well, try a bit harder. Okay, let's go back to Kelly. Yeah, open. Jeez. After you. Joey, can yeah. I fucking play? Could I ask you some follow-up quick? <sighs> Make it quick. Please let me look around. It would really have helped you, Adam. You can ask your stupid questions. Please let me look around. It would have helped you. You can ask. So what was Joe? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which okay. is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid. Acted just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. She seemed proud of it. Apparently not. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. I couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Hmm. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I'd been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Can you tell... DRA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Hmm. Can you tell me why? Do you just background oh thanks. Suit yourself. Do you know any No, but it's written okay. think I can I mean I mean I don't know anyone with that. Sorry. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Ta -ta. Whatever. Whatever. That's her. She looks so- I wonder what- I reckon- I recognize- The future- I wonder- Hmm... It's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. Yeah. Here. A notebook we can There's look. a notebook on Joanne's desk. Can I? No. no. Joanne and I might not have been but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through his stuff. Jeez, Kelly. You're a piece of this work. This is really, really hard. You think you've got it bad? I've got to watch. It's pretty painful, let me tell you. You're not helping. You want help? Get your little butt back in there. How is this helping me? Let me go talk to the RA, bitch. Hmm? Hi, it's me. You have more questions? I, I love her yeah. fake smile. Is that like... okay? Hey. I suppose so. What do you want? They really thought you were a girl. Yes. Davenport. Thanks, anyway. Davenport? No. Nobody named Davenport. Thanks, anyway. I am. Does the word deacon mean anything to you? 
Deacon? No, I'm afraid not. Do you know anything about... I'm afraid not. She's... All right. Funny well, part. that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out. Yeah, yeah. What do I have to do to... It's open. After you. What else could you do to find stuff? Yeah. I don't know. I can show her things, I guess. Uh... Could I ask you some... Make it quick. Okay. Uh... I've talked about everything. Do you know anything about... You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all through kind of... Ugh, that wasn't... What do you want to know about? I'm having... Would you know where she... I don't know. She's studying... Pushing up daisies. Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right. Does the name... De nope. Okay, so the deacon is something about religion? I don't suppose you know anything... Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long. Alright. Nothing about Davenport. Nothing on her. She doesn't want to tell me about her. She has nothing to say about Adrian. She has nothing more to say about Joanne. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. I can't have the permission to touch stuff. Thanks again. Whatever. Can I use your... Again? It'll only take a... Fine. What do I use it for? Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Oh, okay. Hi, Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. Okay. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. After I'm sorry, please resist in front of the instruction request a performance. Ah. So we can distract her and take the note. Yes, hello. Could you tell me? Do. Look around. We need all the information we can. Joey, I'm not sure I can do. This is stupid. Kid, you ha Don't back out now. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. <laughs> Airbendy! Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Could I ask you some follow up? <sighs> Make it quick. Thanks again, whatever. Apparently, that's. Joe. You want to start? Keep your. It's just a telephone. Again? It'll all. Progress. Yeah, not much. Hello. Hi. Joey, could you do that little trick one more? I'm not sure where you're going. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah. Nice one. Let's skedaddle. So, congratulations, kid. Woohoo! You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> okay, let's go home. Take me home, country roads, and let's... Oh, I think I can look at it here. Looks like standard poli -sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty... strange. I'd better take a closer look. Joanne and something? Susan and Alexander? So I guess it's Alexander Davenport. Ali and so little man, so little so many men, so little time. So Ali didn't have a boyfriend. Susan had Alexander Davenport. And Joanne had something. Someone. Can't hear the proof. I no longer care. He won't leave me alone. Can't concentrate. Allison is gone. He made her go. 
Susan is gone too. They won't let me see her. I am the only one left. Have to hold on. What do you want? What do you want? Ah. Were they haunted by ghosts? Let's go home, Joy, so we can talk. Or should I go and put back the note? It looks like Joanne like the last set of- I'd better- Maybe I have to put it back. So next time I come here, Kelly is not like, Yeah, 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 you stole my stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So thick. After. Yeah. Looks like standard- It looks the- Can't put it back, so let's go home. Hey, Joe. Yeah? Yo, Joey. Okay, Alexander. Who do you think Alexander? Well, judging from that silly doodle you're carrying around, hey. I'd say he was Susan's boyfriend. You think he's involved? Anything's possible. Who do you think Alexander? Well, I th anything. I think I've heard it. Yeah, let's. Let's combine Alexander with Deb. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. Mm. Okay. So maybe now Adrian and Kelly may know him. Good. You coming? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Susan Lee, right? Man, I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Yeah, you were. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Can I talk to you? Joe, no. shh. You want us to keep... Whoa. Hold on there. Hey, man. You want to go... It's the security guard for... I'm here to see Doc. Sure thing. Go right in. Okay, we can see the doctor. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Uh, ask about Joey. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no. I, I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Do you know anything about- It's hardly my specialty. But I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your so case, I'd say I'd much say they were mails and doing by stress. Are they usually doing this important bad? Important adult stuff? It varies. Don't listen though. Oh, Over don't worry. Thank you very, very much rest. for being here That's in the first place. Thanks. And I didn't listen to a shit they said. Alright. Should I tell Dr. Quentin about Joey? That's Dr. It. Quentin. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, He's um... pissed. Hey, whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I Did just spent listen? 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? All you right. want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for Thanks company? Thanks for the beats! That's what'll happen. Yay! Leftovers! I, I love sure leftovers. Your life is a living hell. Um... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll get on just fine. Okay, he was very, very I pleased. guess I'll head out. Very well. 
he was extremely pissed. Pissed. It's the security guard for the hospital. Hmm. Looks like an internal phone. I don't have. Locked. Whatever's back. Okay, nothing interesting in here. So that. Oh, wait. Back to the Brittany Hall door. Now, let's see if he knows about Alexander now. Hmm? Hi, it's me. You have more. Yeah. I suppose. What do you want to. Do you know an Alexander? The name doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Well, that's all. Thanks for help. Just remember, leave my name. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yo, it's after you. Yo, it's open. Yeah. Could I ask you some? Make it quick. Do you know an Alexander? No. Do you know an Alex? No. No. Thanks for helping. Yeah, sure. Thanks again. Whatever. Alright. Where are you going? Joe. Shh. Unless you want to explain that the wall is great conversation, I recommend we... Alright, let's go back to the park and see if we can find something more about Ellie. I didn't want to talk to... Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me. You have more. Yeah. I said, what do you? Did you ever? The name doesn't. Well, that's all for. Now. Thanks for. Just remember. Okay. Okay. Washington Square Park. Walk dog entrance. Let's talk to that ghost. Yeah, sure. Hey there. No. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It, it, Sweetheart, are you listening? They all go away. The deacon. Listen, you don't have to work. Whatever it is, just... He haunts my... He gets into my head. Okay. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great. Was it an accident or was it just fate? Oh. Can you tell me? Little Lady Lee won't say much, but you'll know she. Can you? The deacon, we called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone. Do you know what on a date with Alexander the Great? Was it an accident or was it just fate? Look, just we'll figure that Oh. <sighs> you alright? This is gonna take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. We Joe. Shh. Shall we go? Future, maybe to find uh, do research. Hmm. And Alexander Davenport was listed as being on the hockey team at NYU. It doesn't say anything else about him, though. Okay. Ali Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. Hmm. She was looking for information about Ouija boards. <gasps> Are Luigi Ouija boards, boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks Luigi messing with stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. 
Those things are nothing but trouble. Oh my god. Oh my god. I already called the, the, this stream ghost. 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 But now I want so bad to call it Luigi board. A Luigi board? Yes, Luigi board! No, I can't. Nope. No. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. Yeah. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. Oh. I think that's our girl. That's too common a word. Whoever the deacon is, I don't think I'll find him this way. Ouija boards? There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. No, sorry, but I have to change the name of the stream to Luigi board now. Because I have to. Come on, it's... Can't pass this chance. Oh, I love. Did you see the video of uh, like the Ouija board the, that Sean like he reacted to in his funniest home videos? I think I loved it. The pregnant one and the both of them loved them. Yeah, let's go back to the game. All right. Can he, it's so good. Yeah. With him staring over my shoulder. I can't. Vai pregante. Tan ta tan. Okay, let's see if we can. Are you coming? Yeah. Let's see if we can go to the um, Bellevue. Okay, let's try to connect the Ouija board to the Deacon. The girls were interested in Ouija boards, and they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Yeah. Could there be a connection? Pregananant. Um, Deacon and Uja. Uh... Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Susan and Allie were close friends. Uh... Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. All right. Okay, we are going further, guys. Let's go back here and ask about... Suddenly out of focus. It's the security guard. Susan. Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan. Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. Oh, okay. They're all pregante. <gasps> Pregar. Pregarnate. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name? Rosangela Black. Sorry. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her. Thanks. Uh huh. Okay. There is obviously a connection between the. There is obviously a connection between. Let's ask Kelly if she knows anything about Ouija boards. Hey, hey, Kelly. Do you know anything about Ouija boards? Yo, it's open. After you. Yeah. Could I ask you some? <sighs> Make it quick. Do you know an out? No. Oh, I can't even ask her. Do you know an Alexander Dab? No. Do you know an? No. No. Can't even ask her. Uh. 
Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kel. Whatever. That's straight. Ew, there's gum stuck to the faucet. I'm not. Okay, no. I'm not stealing stuff. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, hey, Nightbot. Looks like a fire. Um, no. Why not? The sign says... Agent Tucker. Oh, okay. Hmm? Hi. You have... Yeah. I suppose... What do you... Do you know anything about Ouija boards? I'm afraid not. Do you know an- The name doesn't- Well, all right. that's all for now. Thanks for help. Just remember. Okay. The only other person I think that could help us is... Let's see if Nishanti has something to say. I'm not knocking on some stranger's- Come in! Come here! Welcome back. Come in. Just one. <clears throat> boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> Stop scaring the dog. I'm at a loss. He never. It's all right. Mish. Ah. Uh, no. Nope. Well, I take care, Rose. Come back when. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. Mm. Someone wants a treat. Go get it. <gasps> really? What are you doing here? Go have fun with with my wife. No, I'm kidding. Hi. Hi, I bet Kaylin is there. Hi, honey. Hey, both of you. Uh, so glad to see you, girl. Uh, birthday girl! Yay! How you doing, my darling? You should be around having fun. <laughs> Did you see the look on that dumb mutt's face? Shut up. I thought he was gonna wet himself. <laughs> yeah, it's Rini's birthday! She's turning some age old. It's not like I don't know it, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> Kay and I are back at the hotel having a little break, having a fabulous time. Yes. Oh, yes. <sighs> Can't find shit. That's too common a Whoever the deacon is, I don't think- That's too- Whoever- Hmm. And Alexander Davenport was li- It doesn't say anything else about him. It's just a tele- I have nobody to- I suppose I should trim- I want to talk to you, Joey. Yes? Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow, considering what's been going on. Okay, see you later, Iris. Thank you. Who do you think- Well, judging- I'd say- You think he's involved- Anything's- I think I've heard an- Yeah, let's- Okay, where else can we go? You coming? Yeah. So, how was your first day, to, uh, first day together, girls? What did you do? Where did you go? Please note, dog wa- Hmm. Let's talk to that ghost- Yeah, 
Hey there. No. You're a little... How do you feel? Lonely. The deacon got into my head. Made everyone go away. Did you summon something with a Ouija board? Did I? That's why I'm asking you. I hate those things. I'll never use one again. And why is that? Because... The Deacon, kid. Did you get in contact with someone called the Deacon? The Deacon! I hate him so much. I knew it. Damn kids and your damn Ouija boards. Ouija boards. Don't worry, we'll clean up this mess. Do you know any... On a date with wasn't an accident? Look, just sit. We'll figure this out. She is so strange. Don't you think she's strange? Not really. I think she's a choice bit of calico myself. Maybe it's a ghost thing. What? Last time we went to sh Super Saiyan and had an amazing noodles and chill at the hotel. Today we're in Islands of a Better and then at lunch at the tree and broomsticks. Oh my god. Oh my god. MB. So much MB. I'm so happy you're having fun. Where the fuck are you going? Psst, Joey. Psst, Joey. Yes? Any idea who the- No, I- all the okay. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's- They're fine where they are. Just some old book reviews. Apparently that... Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. Uh... Yes, darling? So the ghost looks like... And she's trying... That's where... And we have... Yep. Is this going to be a typical... You'll look back... I think I've... Yeah, let's get... That's too common. Whoever the de That's too com Whoever the deacon is, I don't- Okay, let's do some more notes were. There is obviously a connection between- That makes no sense. Okay. There is obviously- That makes no sense. I only hope that Susan doesn't meet the same fate as her two friends. Mm -hmm. Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Allie was one of Joanne and jo Judging from could Alexander Davenport have killed Allie? I don't think so. Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend or something close to it. Mm-hmm. What to do, what to do? You coming? Yeah. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Yep. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Now I can use this? I'd like to see- I Oh, that's- Susan doesn't know me, but she calls me- Really? Well, what name- My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. All right. Thanks.
Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... Yeah, I'm... It's... Uh, he doesn't want to see me anyway. Oh, that's sad. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. So, Susan, could you tell me what brought you here? I don't know. They think I'm crazy. Are you? Crazy, I mean. I don't know. I they don't know. think so. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever yeah. happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. Oh gosh. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, oh, he poor girl. enters my head and he won't stop screaming. He screams, huh? I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? Yeah. It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. Uh... <sighs> so what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't... The ghost is too far away from my life. This chick is too far away. Yeah. She sounds more ghostly than he does. I to do something. I saw the speeding taxi and I just... Oh. Well, you know. Oh, gosh. I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself right. Can you tell me anything about- Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. She blames herself, Aww. but it's not her fault. Wasn't. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes. The deacon. He got in our heads. And his voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. Just keeps going. I just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. Oh. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Even her life. Uh, Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. Oh. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. Oh. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. That's and now cute. She can't. She that was cute. She was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? Stronger doesn't always mean, you know. Can you tell me anything? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. Was Kelly and Bo Kelly? Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. Yeah, she didn't only... like us much. But that's okay. We didn't like her either. <laughs> We've already established this. I don't need... Can you tell me again? Same thing that ha I tried to kill myself. And now I'm here. Can you tell me... No. Only... Oh, poor thing. I only there are dogs around. Can you tell me anything else about Allie? No. Only that wherever she is, I hope there are dogs around. Aww. 
Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Not really. I miss her, though. Her door was always open. She had such a creative mind. Aww. She wrote poems about us. Silly, stupid things. Okay, I think it's everything. I have to go now, Suze, but I'll come back to- Mm-hmm. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see- Was it the darkness that gave it- I'm just saying. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on there. Oh my you god. You wanna go- Hold on there. You wanna go- I'd like to see- Sure thing. Go right in. Oh, nice. Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. Cute. How are you now? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... these drugs. Ooh. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low, and that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. Oh. <laughs> I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. True. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been pawning the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please. Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks Shut so up. much. Snarky ghost. Oh yeah, he's the snarkiest. He's, sometimes he's too, he likes to scare dogs. The bitch. So do you like Bellevue? It's okay. I used to come here every week. To visit my aunt, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think she cares. Well, anyway, I'm just saying, I've spent a lot of time here. You don't have to be scared of me. All right. I have to go now, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go. Who can we use? Okay, we don't. We can't go back to the thing. Come in. We can use maybe the. Oh, she's cooking. Oh, look, uh, Moti, our neighbors come to visit us again. Come in. <laughs> Moti, behave yourself. Ooga booga. This is getting old. Just I, stop doing it's it. It's all right. That's Nishanti Shark. My neck. Could I feed Modi? Sure. Well, I'd take care. Come back whenever. Now I can combine. I think. The feel. Okay. I put. And now I give the pee. Hey, boy. Yeah. Go get it. I'm sorry to drag you, baby. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Sorry, Doggo. You're going to have to wait. I have my hands towed. Unless, Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you Yay. so much. We walk Moti the gets cranky when we he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. I'm sorry because I had to drag a doggo. Right. Here you go, boy. But, yeah, you know.
You're drugging innocent dogs. It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. All right. Let's go. Doggy. Hey there, bright eyes. It's me again. Are... Are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kids, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't, I don't think, think she wants she to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't, I don't believe, believe you. you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. We have a pitch. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The Boston, Boston Terrier? Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. I... Yes. Yes, I can. Aww, I know a I lot about dogs. dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Are you the cutest little thing? Hmm. Your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's odd. I don't feel any breath. Cause you're dead. I don't feel anything. I. Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. yep. I killed myself. Yep. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something. Yes. Beauty. He called himself the Deacon. It's kind of hazy now. But I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him. But he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him. But he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go. Here. Take this. And hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Push. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Aww. We're sending our first ghost, guys. Hello? Yeah, hi. I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know, you brought the dog to me. You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much. So, are you ready to... Well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Yay. Right. Like every cliche in the book. She's so nice now that she's not you crazy. Think I'll see Joanna over there. Positive, sort of comforting. I'm sure you'll find whatever it is you want to find. Yeah, I suppose you're right. And, and hey, you'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. Woo! See ya. I want to take this fucking Ugh. pebble that's You're on the awake. ground. That didn't take too long. She just went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. <laughs> the ones who are all too happy to move on. Others, well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. Yep. She is so going to kill me. 
just a minute. She didn't even notice. Oh, oh, there you are. I was just about to go to bed. No. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. <laughs> sure. Strange lady. Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. <laughs> oh well, looks that? like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? True? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's Good night, Iris. Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. Joey. Joey. I don't think so. Whoa! Hold on. You want to go in, I gotta... Just a small tran... Some small... What? Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in. Joey! Jo Shh! You want to keep your... Fuse box. I could pop. All right. Let's cause some trouble and make it double. No, oh, okay. Now you, you better find. I don't have. Whoa, you you'd better leave. I can't be I'll get the Shit. Have to be quicker. Still have the heat yeah. I hope you know you better find a Nice. She's asleep. Yeah, like a. It won't be long. Before what? Uh oh. Before that. Uh oh. Ghosts. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. Oh, God. The others are gone. You're the only one. Please. Why did you summon you girls? You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please. Wake, Wake up and help me. Susan, Susan, you called me. You can help me. Hmm. <clears throat> Ignore them, Susan. Listen. Hey. Ignore them, Susan. I'm talking to you, Cla. You're, you're talking to me. Yay. Yeah. So can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I, I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead! Like me! Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes! Well, that certainly saves time. Good! We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No! Get that away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't! What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't, I don't want, want to. to. You don't want to? No, I... 
I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What does he What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Watching. Trying, Trying to take, to take me. me. But it hasn't caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Shut Let me up. handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. No, you don't. What hasn't caught you? It. It. Oh, I didn't see the mask. I see it everywhere. In every shadow. In every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Who is after you? It! Haven't you ever seen- Forget it, kid. He- We're wait- He knows he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. But anyways, yeah. Alright, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. But the devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey. Ooh. I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! <laughs> Hurts, don't it? How? Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie. Joey, stop it. Give her a chance. You wanna handle it? Go right. Let's see you. You killed two people. Doesn't that mean they call? Why would they call? Yeah, that didn't work. So, please. What are you gonna do? Please don't. I don't wanna. Hell sh- Pace, let me t- You wanna handle- Go right ahead. Let's see- You can't keep- It's better- Uh-huh, yeah, you had your sh- I don't believe in hell, buddy. But you have two choices. The slight possibility of an eternal torture in hell, or the dead certainty of an eternal torture by me. But- You can't! Sure I can- You gonna stop? Make your choice. I... Wrong answer. <laughs> You're hurting him, Joey. Yeah, that's the idea. You got any better one? Let me... T you wanna... Go... Let's see... I know a safe... You can hide... Really? Where is it? Not far. But you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because we're cute. Because nobody else has offered to help you before. True. Right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. But we are well, here. we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. I feel safe. Are you ready? Yes, I really think so. It's really nice out here, almost like. Uh. like 
What the fuck? At last, I have found you. No! You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh, uh -oh. crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. Fool, no one can save you now. I'll this give is you getting a interesting. To prepare for the eternity to come. But then you are mine. What is that thing? It's just like. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time, but then. Why are you after. For his all this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. What is that in your pocket? My flat? Yeah, what? Nothing. It's just a... Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. The deacon is carrying his sins. And the deacon is carrying his flask. Mm. Could this be symbolic? Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't! Why not? Because it, it's my flask! You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well, oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins, but they still... That is not enough to... Finally the stone! Use the stone. Smash the. F There's nothing really special about it except that it's kind of. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. Oh. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace. So he was an alcoholic. Be no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time, it's all so clear to me now. Isn't like it? my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... You're not an alcoholic all anymore. who died, they killed themselves because of me. Yep. And what do you think about that? I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. Right. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. Nice. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Yeah. Oh, sir. You seem strangely happy about it. I'm just happy to know. You see, I was a religious man once. Uh, you're a deacon. Before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Maybe don't be too close to the mic though. Well, this is it. Goodbye. And thanks. Oh, yeah, he smiled. The door, the door, the door, the door. Jesus Christ, kid, you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got... a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. 
Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. Come on. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. <laughs> you managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. Just... Yep. Glad you're okay. Yay! Joey. Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Uh, it was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do oh. it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. Let's go to Hell's in the Senior Sea. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. Which is? Which is? Which is? <laughs>